want to go down that. Like if you do that and they red flag you, bro, you're taking a minimum deal. Mm. And you're, I go back in there, bro, and I Oscar performance going back. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? In today's video, we're going over Chandler Parsons and how he finessed the Memphis Grizzlies out of ninety-four million dollars. Chandler Parsons, most known for his time with the Houston Rockets, where in his three seasons he averaged fourteen points per game on forty-seven percent from the field. After his run with the Rockets, Parsons was able to secure a nice little three-year, $46 million contract from Mark Cuban back in 2013, which they signed while partying in the club. As a Mav, he continued to put up similar numbers in his first two years, but he then started dealing with knee problems. There were some injury concerns, of course, but you have to remember what life was like in the summer of 2016. Teams were throwing out contracts that made absolutely no sense. Ryan Anderson got four years, $80 million from the Rockets. Harrison Barnes got four years, $94 million from the Mavs. Alan Crabb, four years, 75 mil. Jan Mahimi, four years, $64 million from the Wizard. Then there was Chandler Parsons. Chandler Parsons signed with the Memphis Grizzlies in the summer of 2016 for four years and $94 million. Ever since that moment, things immediately went downhill for Parsons. He couldn't stay healthy and played just 95 games in three seasons as a Grizzly. His production tanked, averaging just seven points from 39% from the field. So heading into free agency, uh... You were looking to possibly stay in Dallas, I'm guessing? Yeah. That's what you wanted to do, obviously. Yeah. And well, it didn't really work out that way. You end up going to Memphis on yeah. a nice, another nice deal. Um, what was that experience like? So that was, I signed a three-year deal in Dallas, but I had a player option in the third year. And talking with Mark, talking with my agent, they said, listen, you play, I played good that year. You know, we went to the playoffs. They said, you can get a big deal. And there's a lot of interest in you. So I'm like, all right, great. I'll, I'll opt out of my player option. And he, Dan Fang was like, basically, you're going to get a max contract. And you know, when Dan says you're that, the like, best at it. I'm fine. I believe you. But Cuban wanted me to opt into that third year because I had, had just had a knee surgery. I had my second one and I was still going into free agency. And so I didn't pick up my third year because Mark was like, look, just opt in and prove yourself that you can play. And, and then I'll sign, I'll sign you to a five year max the next year. And I'm like looking at it, I'm like, and it was for like 17 million. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, he's telling me to opt in now for 17, but Dan Vega and my agent tell me I got guaranteed like 95. Like, I'm like, Mark, if I was your son, like, what would you, you, what would you tell him? Like, would you tell me to do this and take this guaranteed deal? Right. And they knew I had like, they knew I had the knee surgeries, right? And so that was crazy. And that's another crazy story where I had two pitch meetings. And I remember it was Orlando and New York offered max deals but like two or three years but the two big four ones were memphis grizzlies and the portland trailblazers and paul allen came dame came terry stotts came their front office came and we had a great meeting in portland and to be honest with you i was all in on portland i was like we can cancel the memphis like i'm going to portland like this is play with dame and cj like mm -hmm. that this, this is great and too. i was like yeah mm -hmm. so i was like all right like i'm in jb bickerstaff and fizz who are my family they mm -hmm. were they, he had just got the head coaching job at memphis i said you know what let's just take the meeting like i i love them like let, let's see and also they had gasol they had conley they mm -hmm. had t uh zebo ta like mm -hmm. they had a squad mm -hmm. too so i never forget we're in this meeting right and it's at dan fagan's house and we're in the memphis meeting and i see like where stack's sitting fagan's getting like red and like kind of getting weird and then like five minutes later he asked he's like hey let's take a break and like you know let's uh well, we'll meet back up in five. He's like, CP, come here. So I go to the, I go to his room with him and he's like, you're going to Memphis. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, he goes, Portland is going to give you a physical. And because of like Greg Oden and Brandon Roy's injury history, you might not pass. Mm. So I'm like, what do you mean, bro? He's like, trust me. Like, you don't want to go down that. Like if you do that and they red flag you, bro, you're taking a minimum deal mm. and you're smoked out of 95 million. Mm. So I'm like, bro, like what? Like in my head, I'm, I'm on Zillow looking at houses in Portland. Like I was going, <laughs> like I love them. Mm. I go back in there, bro. And I Oscar performance going back. <laughs> Oscar. I go back in there. Listen guys, I, 
I've never, I've never been more sure of something in my life. <laughs> Sold it. Grit and grind to the day I die. I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> I'm gonna get that shit tatted. I was like, we can just stop it here. I'm signing. Literally, I'm like Blake Griffin. I wouldn't let them leave till I signed the deal. Yeah. I was like, I am going. So that was just another damn thing and crazy story. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think down below. Also, quick shout out to SoFi. I have a link in the description box. If you sign up for a free checking account and use my link, you'll get a $25 bonus. All you have to do is deposit $10. All right, see you guys next time. Peace.